string guitar is it any different than six string guitar do you need one what is the approach of playing the seven string guitar there are a lot of debates in internet and i might breed my position as well a lot of people think that the first seven string guitar that was made was steve Vai's signature well i hate to break it to you but now you are wrong the first 7-string guitar appeared long before Steve Vai was actually born, and long before people found practical use for electricity. Ever since the first 6-string guitar appeared for over 200 years, people tried to extend its range. And one of the famous musicians who used extended range guitars in the early 19th century was Napoleon Cost, the French guitar player. And besides, people tried to a lot of different tunings for guitars. And one of the seven string guitars with open G tuning became so popular in Russia in 19th century that actually, until Beatles made a huge success in 1960s, uh, the whole majority people in Russia didn't actually know that there is such thing as a six string guitar. And even until the late 70s, a lot of people in Russia who were inspired by Beatles simply grabbed their old 7-string guitars and tuned them as a 6-string guitars. And so I can't really give a credit for Steve Vai for inventing something new. He did something that was uh, made before him. I can give him a credit for making 7-string guitar popular. You see, a lot of musicians today who play 7-string guitars, mostly the heavy metal musicians. And so, what is the concept they hide it and how do you approach it? Let's check it out. There are a couple of frequently asked questions when it comes to a 7-string guitar. Basically, should you approach it as a 6-string guitar with additional low B string or is it a completely different instrument? I saw a bunch of videos in YouTube where people claim that 7-string is totally different than 6-string and you shouldn't have the similar approach to it. And I saw similar videos about 4-string versus 5-string versus 6-string basses and I can't quite agree with it. You see, a lot of people make their first experience with a guitar during their teenage years. And they get, in most of the cases, an acoustic guitar from their parents. Or even if they convince their parents to buy them an electric guitar in the first place, I kind of doubt that they get an extended range guitar. And when they make experience with a 6-string guitar, they can easily apply all the knowledge to a 7-string. Surely there are more strings than on a 6-string guitar, sometimes there is a different spacing, the neck is wider, but you can easily adjust to all those things if you have experience uh, with the guitar. Well, in some cases you have to mute these uh, additional strings so that they don't ring out, but uh, this is a minor problem. And the basic tuning of a 7 string is similar to a 6 string. And speaking of tuning, the strings from G to the low B are tuned uh, in a perfect fourth to each other. That means all the intervals between the strings are the same. And what is it good for? Well, let me show a little example. I'll play a simple tune in E minor. And actually, if you take a close look how I played it, I can use exact the same uh, fingers with exact the same distance between the frets which I used in this example, but 
If I start not from this E, but from the E in different position, I can play exactly the same tune using the same fingers. Or even if I start with another E. Or even with the E on the low B string. Well, and all the solos, if you have experience with them on a 6 string guitar, this shouldn't be a problem on a 7 string guitar. And this is one thing that I like about 7 string, I can go in up and down direction instead of jumping all over the fretboard. And maybe I have to mention a couple of things about the chords on the 7 string guitar. I saw the video once where the guy mentioned that standard 6 string guitar chords don't work on the 7 string. And as an example, he played something like A minor chord. And he claimed that this doesn't work because this low B doesn't match the A minor chord. Well, first of all, you don't have to strum all the strings when you play chords. Just leave the low B out and you can play the standard 6 string chords on the 7 string guitar. And on the other hand, this is more philosophical question. What is the difference between the real musician and a guitar player? Well, guitar player thinks sometimes that chord is some uh, sort of finger shape on the fretboard of his guitar and musician knows that chord is actually the certain arrangement of certain pitches. And if you have a basic knowledge of the music theory, you can play the chords the way they meant to be. Actually, the E minor chord consists of the root note, this is the A, the third and uh, the fifth. So, and if you apply a little bit of music theory knowledge, so this wouldn't be a problem for you. And even if you play on the low B string, for example, if you want E major, your crap. E on the low B string, then the third, then the fifth. Well, this works perfectly well. And I guess the problem is that a lot of guitar players use steps and they don't rely on the music theory. And in conclusion, how to approach a 7 string guitar? And the answer is, that's right, the way it works best for you. And if you think that this is a total different instrument that doesn't have any reference to a 6 string guitar, well, that's totally fine. And if you think that this is a 6 string guitar with extended range, that's fine as well, as long as you can create a musical masterpiece with it. And even though I like 7 string guitars, I couldn't find the perfect one for me that I would be 100% satisfied with. And I guess the main problem is in stereotypes that are there on the music market. A lot of people like to follow the stereotypes and the music market responds to these stereotypes uh, for certain target groups. For example, there are rumors that you should use Telecaster for rock and roll, Stratocaster for blues, Les Paul for hard rock, Flying V for heavy metal, and Seven String, of course, for extreme Scandinavian death, trash, vegetarian, black metal, or whatever they call it. I don't really care. Well, my question is, what's wrong with playing hard rock on a seven string guitar or blues or rock and roll? Uh, why shouldn't uh, this be possible? Well, the main problem I have with seven string guitars are the pickups. All of the pickups uh, tend to be some sort of high output and uh, some low end and these are made to play these extreme uh, metal genres. 
Well, what's wrong with making just another copy of medium output pickups? Like, just make copy of uh, Joe Satriani's signature. I like those, they're medium output and why shouldn't you make it to 7 string version? And, okay, these high output pickups uh, were good for the late 70s when you wanted to play hard rock and you had these Marshall Plexi amps that weren't high gain and you kind of could compensate it with the uh, high output pickups. Well, nowadays you have a lot of high gain amps and you don't need these extreme output pickups. And if you have this medium output pickups, even if you play metal, you can crank up the gain and you can get still a lot of clarity, a lot of dynamics. Uh, and I can't get these uh, sort of things with high output pickups. Well, and let's move on from humbuckers. I like the stacked uh, single coils or hum cancelling pickups like uh, DiMarzio Virtual Vintage Serie. Well, why there are no hum cancelling 7 uh, string versions of these pickups as well? What's wrong with it? I saw, I guess, uh, uh, the only single coil for a 7 string, and this is uh, Steve Vai's signature that is uh, used in the middle of his guitar. Well, and this is true single coil, and I want it to uh, hum cancelling. Why there are no hum cancelling single coils for a 7 string on the market? What's wrong with it? And Let's move on from pickups. Well, there are a lot of six string guitars on the market and I can actually find the perfect one for me or even if I don't find the perfect uh, guitar for me, I can just uh, grab the hardware, go to the Luthi and make uh, for me my personal guitar. Actually, I did it once with my personal designed custom Strat. Well, and I can't make it to a seven string version. Okay, I get when people like to approach a 7 string guitar as a totally different instrument when they play it. But if you build it, why can't you make just this a 6 string guitar with additional low B? Uh, for example, I'm into vibrato playing. I used Floyd Rose a lot, but recently I came across uh, this Wilkinson vibrato and it's actually easier to use, especially when it comes to changing the strings. And it still stays in tune if it's built properly. So, there is no 7 string version of Wilkinson Vibrato. What's wrong with it? Why shouldn't you make it? And another thing that I like about uh, this Wilkinson Vibrato, the roller nut. Okay, I didn't use it here, but if I would design another guitar, I would go with the roller nut. So, there are no 7 string versions of roller nuts. What's wrong with it? Why don't you make it? Okay, if I would design, I have to grab uh, maybe this uh, task nut from Graftech. It works kind of good, but still, I want to have an option of a roller nut as well, if I want to. So, there are no roller nuts for a 7 string guitar. I don't think that this is good. And so, let's forget the Wilkinson. There are actually no two point vibratos on the market. I couldn't find any of those. Well, okay, there are this John Petrucci signature guitar that is actually a nice guitar and I would like to have one of those, but there's no fucking way I'll pay 4000 euro for one single electric guitar. Well, there was uh, this low-budget version, uh, the Indonesian made uh, Sterling by Music Man. Well, I probably could go with it, but then again, let's imagine some uh, day I need to replace the Music Man Sterling vibrato. So, I wouldn't be able to find it on the market as well. What's wrong with it? And even if I make some requests to... Uh, uh, buy a spare part, I guess this would be extreme expensive, so it wouldn't uh, be worth it to fix uh, this 7 string Music Man guitar. And so, here is my personal challenge. I want to design and build my very own 7 string guitar that would have everything that I wanted in the uh, guitar. It should have 2 point vibrato system, 
Well, maybe I will go with the, this task nut from Craftic, lock in Tunis, and I'll try to find a couple of medium output pickups that I would be 100% satisfied with. So, I make a couple of videos how I build this guitar, stay tuned for the news, and keep on rocking.